Nie ma nudy w świecie sztucznej inteligencji. Właśnie przeżywamy kolejną rewolucję, tym razem za sprawą Google'a, który trochę w pewnym momencie wyglądało, że nie złapał odpowiednio wiatru w żagle, ale wszyscy, którzy mówili o tym, że Google gdzieś już tam odpadł, to nie docenili jego potencjału. Ja zapraszam Cię do takiego szybkiego 10-minutowego podsumowania, które za chwilę zobaczysz, ale krótkie wprowadzenie. Są materiały dodatkowe pod spodem, znajdziesz link i tam w tych materiałach między innymi właśnie link do tego bloga, który teraz widać. Link też do leaderboardu, na którym możesz sobie prześledzić, jak modele sobie radzą, jeżeli jeszcze nie znasz LM Areny. To najważniejsza pora to jest jej nowa odsłona. Wcześniej to wyglądało trochę mniej tak wygodnie, teraz dużo łatwiej się w tym wszystkim odnaleźć. Kilka kategorii, nie będę zajmował twojego czasu, sam sobie sama sprawdź, jak to wygląda. Link raz jeszcze pod spodem z materiałami dodatkowymi. Między innymi też właśnie link do artykułu, gdzie jest 100 rzeczy, które Google ogłosiło w trakcie I.O. 2025. Materiały dodatkowe to jest taki zasób, który zaczęliśmy niedawno tworzyć, towarzyszy naszym filmom z materiałami dodatkowymi. Jeżeli chodzi o materiał dodatkowy do tego dzisiejszego nagrania, na to przygotowałem dla Ciebie LM Arenę. Wpis na blogu 100 rzeczy, co więcej wszędzie masz też różnego rodzaju podsumowania, więc będzie Ci myślę łatwiej to wszystko ogarnąć od razu w języku polskim. Jest link do oryginalnego Keynote, który trwa dwie godziny niemalże. Jest podsumowanie Keynote w moim ulubionym narzędziu. Jeżeli 10-minutowe podsumowanie, które ja przygotowałem z polskimi napisami będzie dla Ciebie za mało, ale dwie godziny to za dużo, to bardzo fajne podsumowanie zrobił The Verge tutaj 32 minuty. I z tego również otrzymasz w materiałach dodatkowych podsumowanie tych właśnie najważniejszych informacji. Dobra, ja dłużej nie gadam. Zapraszam Cię do tego, żeby jeżeli nie masz jeszcze linka do materiałów dodatkowych, to tutaj pod spodem właśnie, żeby sobie taki link zdobyć. Podajesz maila, wpadasz w nasz newsletter co tygodniowy w poniedziałki około godziny 9 wpadają nowości na Twoją skrzynkę. No i dostajesz materiały dodatkowe, które są naprawdę myślę już coraz cenniejszym zasobem. Ok, zapraszam Cię do podsumowania tego, co wydarzyło się na konferencji, a jeżeli chcesz więcej takich materiałów, to nie zapomnij subskrybować naszego kanału na dole. Kliknij subskrybuj. Pozdrawiam, do zobaczenia w kolejnym filmie. Hej! Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome to Google I.O. We want to get our best models into your hands and our products ASAP. I'm particularly excited about the rapid model progress. And today, Gemini 2.5 Pro sweeps the LM Arena leaderboard in all categories. It's getting a lot of love across the top coding platforms, thanks to all of you. Gemini 2.5 Pro is our most intelligent model ever. And now that it incorporates LearnLM, our family of models built with educational experts, 2.5 Pro is also the leading model for learning. I got 2.5 Pro to code me a simple web app. Someone comes to you with a brilliant idea. I'm going to add in a prompt that asks 2.5 Pro to update my code based on the image. And here's what Gemini generates. Whoa. I was able to create this just based on a sketch. But what if it talked? That's where Gemini's native audio comes in. That's a pangolin, and its scales are made of keratin just like your fingernails. Today, we're making 2.5 Pro even better by introducing a new mode we're calling Deep Think. Deep Think uses our latest cutting edge research in thinking and reasoning, including parallel techniques. We are in a new phase of the AI platform shift, where decades of research are becoming reality for people all over the world. Introducing Google Beam, a new AI first video communications platform. Beam uses a new state-of-the-art video model to transform 2D video streams into a realistic 3D experience. Today, we are introducing this real-time speech translation directly in Google Meet. It's nice to finally talk to you. Es bueno hablarte finalmente. No puedo esperar alquilar tu casa. Our research prototype, Project Mariner. It's an agent that can interact with the web and get stuff done. We released it as an early research prototype in December, and we have made a lot of progress since. And we are starting to bring agentic capabilities to Chrome, Search, and the Gemini app. Let me show you what we are excited about. We call it agent mode. Say you want to find an apartment for you and two roommates in Austin. You've each got a budget of $1,200 a month. You want a washer dryer or at least a laundromat nearby. 
Using agent mode, the Gemini app goes to work behind the scenes. You might be familiar with our AI-powered smart reply features. Now imagine if those responses could sound like you. That's the idea behind personalized smart replies. With your permission, Gemini models can use relevant context across your Google Apps in a way that is private, transparent, and fully under your control. Let's say my friend wrote to me looking for advice. He's taking a road trip to Utah, and he remembers I did this trip before. Gemini can do almost all the work for me, looking up my notes and drive, scanning past emails for reservations. Gemini matches my typical greetings from past emails, captures my tone, style, and favorite word choices, and then it automatically generates a reply. Gemini Flash is our most efficient workhorse model. The new Flash is better in nearly every dimension, improving across key benchmarks for reasoning, code, and long context. Flash will be generally available in early June with Pro soon after. Gemini Diffusion is a state-of-the-art experimental text diffusion model that leverages this parallel generation to achieve extremely low latency. The version of Gemini Diffusion we're releasing today generates five times faster than our fastest model so far. This is our ultimate vision for the Gemini app, to transform it into a universal AI assistant. In Project Astra, we've upgraded voice output to be more natural with native audio. We've improved memory and added computer control. Google Search is bringing generative AI to more people than any other product in the world. In our biggest markets like the US and India, AI overviews are driving over 10% growth in the types of queries that show them. What's particularly exciting is that this growth increases over time. We are introducing an all new AI mode. It's a total reimagining of search. With more advanced reasoning, you can ask AI mode longer and more complex queries. We're excited to start rolling out AI mode for everyone in the US starting today. Over time, we'll graduate many of AI mode's cutting edge features and capabilities directly into the core search experience. That starts today as we bring the same models that power AI mode to power AI overviews. So you can bring your hardest questions right to the search box. AI mode is search transformed with Gemini 2.5 at its core. It's like having my very own sports analyst right in search. Search figured out that the best way to present this information is a graph, and it created it. Complex analysis and data visualization is coming this summer for sports and financial questions. Using your camera, Search can see what you see and give you helpful information as you go back and forth in real time. We're bringing Project Mariner's agentic capabilities into AI mode. Search can take work off my plate while still under my control. Search helps me skip a bunch of steps, linking me right to finish checking out. Tickets secured. With AI mode, we are bringing a new level of intelligence to help you shop with Google. Search dynamically generates a browsable mosaic of images and some shoppable products personalized just for me. To create a try-on experience that works at scale, we need a deep understanding of the human body and how clothing looks on it. To do this, we built a custom image generation model specifically trained for fashion. Wow, and it's back. This is the future of Google Search a search that goes beyond information to intelligence. Our goal is to make Gemini the most personal, proactive, and powerful AI assistant. Gemini Live now includes camera and screen sharing. All of it is rolling out free of charge in the Gemini app on Android and iOS today. We're bringing our latest and most capable image generation model into the Gemini app. It's called Imagine 4. The images are richer with more nuanced colors and fine-grained details. Today, I'm excited to announce our new state-of-the-art model, VO3. VO3 comes with native audio generation. That means that VO3 can generate sound effects, background sounds, and dialogue. They left behind a, a ball today. It bounced higher than I can jump. 
What manner of magic is that? This ocean, it's a force, a wild, untamed might. Two years ago, we pioneered SynthID, which embeds invisible watermarks into generated media. Our new SynthID detector can identify if an image, audio track, text, or video has SynthID in it. Based on our collaboration with the creative community, we've been building a new AI filmmaking tool for creatives. We're calling it Flow, and it's launching today. Let me show you how it works. These are my ingredients, the old man and his car. We make it easy to upload your own images into the tool. It lets you extend a clip too, so I can get the perfect ending that I've been working towards. But what about emerging form factors that could let you experience an AI assistant in new ways? That's exactly why we're building Android XR. Right now, you should be seeing exactly what I'm seeing through the lens of my Android XR glasses, like my delicious coffee over here and that text from Sharon that just came in. Let's see what he said. All right, it's definitely showtime. So I'm going to launch Gemini and get us going. Gemini, what was the name of the coffee shop on the cup I had earlier? Hmm, that might have been Bloom's giving. Okay, Gemini, show me what it would take to walk here. It'll take you about an hour. Okay, <laughs> I can get some steps in and these heads up directions and a full 3D map should make it super easy. I'm excited to announce today that Gentle Monster and Warby Parker will be the first eyewear partners to build glasses with Android XR. Here's everything we've announced today, from new launches and product expansions to glimmers of what's to come. The opportunity with AI is truly as big as it gets. This opportunity to improve lives is not something I take for granted. It's a reminder of how incredible the power of technology is to inspire, to awe, and to move us forward. And I can't wait to see what amazing things we'll build together next. Thank you.